The emergency alert system interrupts regular programming across Italy with a message no one expected. Civil protection authorities have declared a state of emergency for the Campi Flegre volcanic region and evacuation planning is now active for approximately 500,000 residents. Buried in the emergency announcement is a single line that makes volcanologists across Europe stop breathing. Recent analysis has identified significantly elevated seismic activity patterns consistent with volcanic unrest. What the broadcast does not mention is the phone call that triggered the alert. At 3.17 p.m., Stanford University researchers contacted Italian authorities with AI analysis showing Campi Flegre had been hiding 42,000 earthquakes from traditional monitoring systems. The supervolcano was four times more active than anyone knew. The emergency declaration is not about the magnitude 4.4 earthquake that rattled windows across Naples this morning. It is about what that earthquake represents, the beginning of a volcanic awakening that could make Vesuvius look like a gentle hiccup. New research reveals that Campi Flegre operates through a self-sealing mechanism where the geothermal reservoir builds pressure over decades until the mountain literally explodes from within. The current cycle began in 2005. The ground has risen 4.6 feet. Seismic activity has increased exponentially. Every indicator suggests the pressure cooker beneath 500,000 Italians is approaching critical failure. Emergency planners now confront the unthinkable. How do you tell 500,000 people they are living on top of a supervolcano that has been secretly preparing to erupt for 20 years? And if AI analysis just revealed that scientists have been missing 78% of the mountain's seismic activity, what other warning signs have they failed to detect about Europe's deadliest volcanic threat? To understand why Italy is preparing to evacuate half a million people, you need to know what Campi Flegrei has done before. This is not just another volcano, it is what scientists call a supervolcano, a volcanic system so powerful that its eruptions reshape continents. 40,000 years ago, Campi Flegrei produced the Campanian Ignimbrita eruption, one of the largest volcanic explosions in European history. The blast ejected over 150 cubic kilometers of volcanic material, burying Eastern Europe in ash. Some researchers believe this eruption may have contributed to the extinction of the Neanderthals. 15,000 years later, the Neapolitan Yellow Tuff eruption created the modern Campi Flegrei caldera, entombing everything within 100 kilometers under pyroclastic flows, moving at 200 miles per hour. Both eruptions utterly dwarf anything in recorded human history, including the Vesuvius eruption that destroyed Pompeii. Dr. Roberto Scandone, volcanologist emeritus at the University of Rome, explains the unique threat. He says Campi Flegrei does not build a mountain like traditional volcanoes. It is a collapsed caldera system, essentially a 13 kilometer wide crater filled with 500,000 people. When it erupts, there is nowhere to run because you are already inside the volcano. Historical records suggest Campi Flegrei may have erupted alongside Vesuvius in 79 AD. While Vesuvius buried Pompeii in a hellish avalanche of ash and gas, archaeological evidence reveals Campi Flegrei's simultaneous eruption was far more extensive, blanketing a wider area in volcanic debris. The lesson is terrifying. Supervolcanoes do not announce themselves like traditional volcanoes. They create massive calderas that gradually fill with cities and towns, until you have the scene we see today in Campi Flegre, 500,000 people living directly atop one of Europe's largest volcanic systems. Campi Flegre's true danger lies in its cyclical behavior. Historical analysis reveals the supervolcano operates in predictable patterns of unrest, each lasting 40 to 60 years and building toward potential eruption. The most recent cycle began in the late 1960s with gradual ground uplift in the port city of Pozzuoli. By 1970, a phenomenon called Brady Seism 
slow vertical ground movement caused by magma and hydrothermal pressure became impossible to ignore. Resident Angela Greco recalled that her kitchen floor started cracking in straight lines. The cracks followed the walls, then spread to the ceiling. It looked like someone was slowly pulling her house apart. The 1970s crisis escalated through the early 1980s as Pozzuoli's ground rose over six feet, or two meters, rendering thousands of buildings uninhabitable. The harbor became too shallow for boats. Ancient Roman ruins shifted and crumbled. And most alarmingly, seismic activity exploded from occasional tremors to thousands of earthquakes per year. The breaking point came in 1984, when a magnitude 4.2 earthquake struck during peak tourist season, triggering an unprecedented mass evacuation. Pozzuoli's population of 40,000 fled as their city crumbled, many never to return. After 1985, the crisis seemed to subside as seismic activity declined. The evacuation order was lifted and many residents returned, hoping the worst had passed. However, behind the scenes, Campi Flegre's magmatic system continued to accumulate pressure. Dr. Francesca Bianco, director of the Vesuvian Observatory, explains that Campi Flegre's cyclical unrest pattern hides a deadly secret. The magma chamber acts as a self-sealing pressure cooker. Each cycle of unrest adds more and more pressure, and the volcano reseals itself after each peak of activity, trapping that accumulated energy until it finally reaches a breaking point. Fast forward to 2025. After nearly 20 years of gradually accelerating unrest, Campi Flegre is showing disturbing signs of reaching that breaking point once again. The same patterns that preceded the 1970s and 1980s crisis have returned with unprecedented intensity. Ground uplift has reached 4.6 feet, 1.4 meters in the central caldera, exceeding 1984 levels. Seismic activity has increased exponentially since 2018, with five earthquakes above magnitude 4 in 2025 alone. The May 13th magnitude 4.4 quake was the strongest recorded at Campi Flegre since modern monitoring began. Geothermal gas emissions have spiked to 1,557 tonnes per day, levels typically only seen at volcanoes already in active eruption. But on May the 13th, 2025, a shocking discovery throws this already dire situation into chaos. Stanford University researchers apply a new AI algorithm to analyze Campi Flegre's seismic data from the past three years. The result is a scientific bombshell that catches the entire volcanology community off guard. Traditional monitoring had detected approximately 12,000 earthquakes between 2022 and 2025. The AI reveals the horrifying truth. There had been 54,000 earthquakes. 78% of the volcano's seismic activity had been completely missed. As if that were not alarming enough, the AI detects something else, a near-perfect ring-shaped structure of seismicity encircling the caldera, with two major fault systems converging directly beneath the city of Pozzuoli. Dr. Bill Ellsworth of Stanford University's School of Earth, Energy and Environmental Sciences warns that these long fault systems suggest that an earthquake in the magnitude 5 range is not out of the question. A magnitude 5 or greater earthquake occurring within the caldera of an already critically pressurized supervolcanoes for volcanologists the ultimate nightmare scenario. A sword of Damocles hanging over 500,000 people by the most delicate of geologic threads. When that Stanford AI analysis reaches the Italian Department of Civil Protection on the afternoon of May 13th, 2025, there is only one possible response. At 6.15 in the evening, an emergency alert interrupts television broadcasts across the nation. The government is preparing to evacuate over 500,000 people. Half a million human lives now depend on a race against time, 
and against a supervolcano that has been building to this moment. Not just for 20 years, but for nearly 500. 6 a.m. on May 14th, 2025, Italy's Minister of Infrastructure and Transport, Matteo Salvini, stares at a set of evacuation logistics that read more like a full-scale military operation than a civilian emergency plan. 200 trains, 1,500 buses, 50 ships, 80 aircraft, 50 emergency shelters across 15 Italian regions, all to move 500,000 men, women and children away from the jaws of volcanic catastrophe and all to be accomplished within 72 hours of the dreaded red alert, the moment the mountain shows imminent signs of eruption. It is a plan that looks impressive on paper. Until you read the scientific analysis attached to the final page, even under ideal conditions, no delays, no traffic jams, no panic, the evacuation is projected to take eight to 10 days. There is just one problem, Campi Flegre does not have a history of providing 8 to 10 day warning periods. In 1538, the volcano last erupted after just two days of intensified seismic activity, which raises the horrifying question, what happens if the red alert comes and the roads are still clogged with 500,000 evacuees? The scenarios are nothing short of apocalyptic. Dr. Giuseppe Mastro Lorenzo of the Vesuvian Observatory paints a grim picture. If an eruption occurs with people still in the red zone, we could see thousands of casualties within the first hours from pyroclastic density currents. These volcanic avalanches of superheated gas and debris travel at hundreds of kilometers per hour. There is no outrunning them. But even if by some miracle the evacuation beats the clock, a cascade of secondary disasters looms. Naples is a critical hub for shipping, telecommunications, manufacturing and tourism. An extended closure of the city would trigger economic shockwaves across Italy and all of Europe. The Bay of Naples region handles 30% of Italy's Mediterranean shipping traffic. The tourism industry rakes in over 50 billion euros annually. Manufacturing and transportation employ thousands across Campania all would grind to a halt in a long-term volcanic crisis. As Naples holds its breath and the world watches, a chorus of expert warnings grows louder by the day. Dr. Tiziana Venorio of Stanford University, the researcher who discovered Campi Flegrai's self-sealing pressure cooker mechanism, offers the starkest assessment. She says the parallels to the unrest from 1982 to 1984 are deeply disturbing. The volcano is following the same pattern, but at a scale indicating far more pressure accumulation. At this stage, an eruption is a question of when, not if. Dr. Mauro De Vito of the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology concurs. He warns that Campi Flegre's cyclical unrest pattern, previously believed to last around 60 years, appears to be accelerating. The current uplift and seismicity already exceed the 1984 peak after just 20 years. We may be witnessing an evolutionary leap in the volcano's behaviour. Yet perhaps the most disturbing implication comes from the scientists behind the AI analysis that upended everything we thought we knew about Campi Flegre's current unrest. Dr. Greg Barroza of Stanford University's Centre for Induced and Triggered Seismicity poses an unsettling question. If we have been missing nearly 80% of the seismic activity at one of the world's most closely monitored volcanoes, what else are we not seeing? What other massive volcanic systems are already building toward eruption while we operate under a false sense of normalcy? As the people of Naples pack their lives into suitcases and the government prepares for the largest peacetime evacuation in European history, one thing is terrifyingly clear. Campi Fligre's self-sealed pressure cooker is screaming out its final warning. The question now is whether we will heed that warning in time, or whether half a million people will become the latest to discover that when a supervolcano stirs from slumber, 
even the most advanced human preparations, pale in comparison to the raw power building beneath the Earth's surface. You have seen the shocking reports, a supervolcano on the brink, 500,000 lives are at stake, a desperate race against geologic time. Now it is your turn to act. Subscribe to Earth Attacks for the latest updates as this volcanic mega crisis unfolds. And ask yourself, if a catastrophe like this struck without warning in your own backyard, would you be ready?